It's a harvest day for the Chama Chama Shinani in the South Rift, raking in political aspirants not comfortable in their parties. This time, welcoming a Jubilee MP Patrick Ntutu, who has since the formation of the Jubilee Party been expressing his dissatisfaction with the party and the national government. Five months and a half to the general election, he has finally found a safe haven to call home. I'm very happy. Today, you can see I'm relaxed. Not the days that I'm running up and down, wanting to know what Tuna is doing or what the other fellows are doing. No more. We are now moving forward and we will deliver this seat uh, by 8 a.m., by 8 p.m. Prior to his defection, he was eyeing the Jubilee ticket alongside the incumbent, Governor Samuel Tunai, whom, for his closeness to the Jubilee party leadership, Ntutu was uneasy and uncertain of clinching the ticket. Everybody is running uh, because nobody wants to face nomination. Nomination that you don't even understand the rules and regulations. My colleagues in parliament, probably 70%, are moving to uh, small, small parties. Our nomination rules are clear that the candidates will agree on the methodology. They may agree to go through secret ballot, through consensus. After coming in raising of hands, I'm a minimum. The choice will be upon uh, the candidates themselves. Chama Chama Shinani is yet to declare its allegiance in the presidential race, with party organs indicating the decision could be made on 4th of next month. Governor Ruto has, however, been associating with the opposition alliance NASA, even hosting their first event in Bomet soon after the formation. The gubernatorial race in Narok now has three major contenders in Governor Tunai, Ntutu, and former Principal Secretary Joseph Tempati, who is seeking an ODM ticket. The Narok race could highly be determined along clan politics, with Tempati and Ntutu sharing their origin in exclusion of Tunai. Samgitoko Citizen, Live at One.